That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van Doug? apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? Nope. I'm fine. All right then. We don't. All right then. I didn't mean. Thanks. But Jesus. There's nothing I can do now anyway. I have an axe. Maybe I could break the How lock with an axe. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, let's do this. Come on, hurry up. Let's have a look around. Okay. Have an axe. Let's break that lock and then let's get the key from her dead body's body over there. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get the brick. Can't reach that brick. What? It's at the window, so can, the noise can reverberate throughout the freaking town square. Always, always attracts the zombies. Now's the time. All right, let's go over there. Let's go through their body. Be careful. Come on. Keep an eye out, will you? <laughs> what is he gonna do? Yell out? I guess that's the only thing he can do. Sorry, I wasn't there. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of him, that helped. How did a telephone pole drop on him? Oh god, I'm sorry, brother. To the brain. What did? There we go. Goodbye, brother. God. Trophy earned. Hey, bud. There we go. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> Jesus. Yep. Get your ass over there. Did you forget the axe? Where's the axe? Man, that was close. But we did it. Mm -hmm. It's all that matters. Yep, but the log is broken. You're supposed to close that shit up. But you did not. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Mm-hmm. And hurry the hell up.
Oh, no. oh god. Shit. We gotta hurry. Yep, her. <laughs> What's with the white screen? Why did it? What's... Yep, everybody's crawling out of everywhere, coming towards us. Look at the animation of this chair. Wow. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Yeah. Uh... Stay away from the windows. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Thanks. We will make, we'll it, make through it through this. this. Goddamn. If we don't make it through this, you should know. <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. She likes you. She are loves you, man. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. What? Oh, crap. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! Oh, wait! The window is screwed! Go! Come on. I found something! Put it on. Oh God. Oh God. No way. Save Doug or Carly. I'm sorry. Oh wow, she's fast. Get him off of me. No, oh, God. Oh my God. Let's go. We got Doug. To enter one loose. Get out of there. Go, run, run, run. You're not covered with this, you son of a bitch! No! You mother... Wow, what an a-hole. <laughs> not letting somebody else get eaten today. Even if he is an asshole. <laughs> Close the door. What an a-hole. Why the hell did he punch me? Come on, Lee. Just kill him. Find him and kill him right away. Travelier? Travelier Hotel? It's a lot of dead bodies. It looks like we have a new base of operations. Oh god, is that duck talking in the background? 
What the hell? Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta. Wow, I think I need to go. What? To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Stage 9 catastrophe. Do what you gotta do, Glenn. Do what you gotta do. Oh, that's you gotta do, you gotta what, do, you gotta do. what you gotta do. <laughs> and I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Thanks for your help, then. Hey, Ken. Close Kenny. call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. <laughs> Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Thanks, bro. Thank ya. Okay, Clementine Roshi. Oh, we'll go to Carly, I guess. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. <laughs> She's I do. Not okay. I can't we stop thinking about Doug. Doug died. We couldn't have saved yep. him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure I'm he sure liked he you, liked too. you, too. Make it worse? <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, <laughs> I think. I understand. Yeah. Wait, Lee? What up? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help, help, you, help both. you both, but... But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. For sure. Stay away from Duck! Hey, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought that Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. <laughs> hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go <laughs> deal with this. Oh uh -huh. man, Clementine, That's another all. thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. 
and you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Mm-hmm. F you too. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Sure. <laughs> oh. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're only lucky one to man. Have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually sounds agree good. with sounds that Sounds like a plan. Me too. Sounds like a we good got plan. beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Um, that doesn't look look good. <laughs> Everything's good. The next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived looks the pretty walkers. Lonely. Never expected they'd starve us out. Oh well, I, want I guess you to the have military this, okay? didn't In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, <laughs> Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! Ah! Ouch. You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, we never thought Kenny's kid was fit. You went out of your way to side against him. Nobody likes that dude. No more, please. No more, please. Holy Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> God. Episode 2, start for help. All right. Did I lie to Herschel? Nope. I was honest. Most of the people agreed with me. What? You people chose Duck over Sean? Oh my God. Defended Kenny. Of course we defend Kenny. We're not gonna defend the other guy, douchebag. You and fifty-two percent of players refuse the gun. Okay, yeah, all right, that's cool. Doug or Collier? What? Most of you like Doug? Doug was a cool guy, but I don't know. Carly's pretty good with a pistol, so I... Yeah, that's why I chose her. <clears throat> all right, that was Walking Dead, episode one, A New Day. I am done, and I will begin episode two sometime in the near future. And for now, I'm signing out. I was Insomniac Maniac, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!